So Dana from the Bitty Boo Brown YouTube channel and D from the Feathered Cottage with D are hosting the St. Patrick's Day Drinks Center Challenge. showing you some items here that I'm going to use. This is the fun of St. Patrick's Day. You know, the leprechaun, the all the regalia you can purchase in the dollar stores. I will include those, but I'm also going to do it my way as well. My mother was born in Dublin. And I've been to Ireland several times over the years. And when I think of Ireland, it has a whole different meaning to me. This is a photo of me at my great, great, great grandfather's grave in Tipperary. This is the road that leads up to the homestead where they lived. And this is what is left of the homestead. I think it's actually been knocked down since. This time of year has me thinking about my ancestors, whether they lived in the tenements that once stood in Dublin's north inner city or the rolling hills of Tipperary, Kildare, or even Wicklow. And this is a piece of slate. From a roof on the homestead of that great, great, great grandfather. And that will be my tray. This is a goblet. And this goblet is from Ireland. It is made in Yogel. Now, from my research that I've done over the years with my family, what I have learned is any way I've pronounced something is usually wrong. Because then you go to the country and you realize everything is pronounced differently. So, there you go. This came from my late uncle, and you would wear this on your lapel or you know, your jacket on St. Patrick's Day. And on this rosette, of course, are shamrocks. This is something else you would wear on your lapel. Now, I used this for something else not too long ago. I took it apart, but again, another item from a late uncle for St. Patrick's Day. Here is a St. Patrick's Day card. Happy St. Patrick's Day. On St. Patrick's Day and all year through, may the joy you give return to you. The leprechaun, the pot of gold, which is actually a cauldron with Mardi Gras beads in it and some glasses. I kind of like it without these three items. I just like the simple St. Patrick's Day items. So I am gonna move these and just leave it as is. I hope you like my little St. Patrick's setup here. I'm going to leave a link to the playlist for this collaboration. Please check the other videos out. I'm also going to leave some links to some of the videos I've done with regards to my travels in Ireland. I hope you enjoy them. To finish off this video though, I thought I would leave some photos of various places in Ireland that I visited. And a lot of these photos have a real personal meaning for me, so enjoy.